Hey folks, Juan Restrepo here, president of the Florida Real Estate Investors Association, bringing you another edition of The Fan, the Florida Reaction News. And what's going on in the news? Well, first, we want to say congratulations to Frank and Nilsa, who uh, celebrated their 20th anniversary and renewed their wedding vows in their original wedding outfits. Except for Frank, he wouldn't dare put on his stretchy uh, his pants, but thank you, Frank, for... Uh, not doing that. Anyway, uh, let's get to the news. What's going on here? The Wall Street Journal reports that Big Brother is watching your pool. That's right. Uh, Long Island building inspectors are using Google Earth to crack down on illegal pools. Uh, and um, I think they found like 250 illegal pools, which means that these guys never got a permit or got the whatever they needed. So they're cracking down. So how about that for Google Earth, huh? Um so watch out if you're doing anything illegal because somebody's watching. All right. Real estate bust fuels Section 8 tenants into McMansions. That's right. Uh, property owners are so desperate for income that they're turning to Section 8. Um, Section 8 had maybe a few you know, things on their GoSection8.com site. Now they've got over 700 listings, I think, a day. So um, Section 8 recipients are now snubbing their noses at the lower income properties and now want a better class of property, um, especially if these guys are willing to give it to them. All right. And then the Daily Business Review uh, reporting when dixie to close 12 stores in Broward and Palm Beach County. Uh, that's right. The beef people are closing out some stores here, trying to save some money. Uh, what's this going to do? Well, commercial vacancy rates had already fallen, have fallen from uh, to 9.3% from 9.7%. But now we'll go up with these store closings because now you're going to see a, a couple, uh, two hundred, two or three hundred million square feet of available space now coming back on. It's like whoa! Uh, now the closings can be a blessing to some landlords. Actually, uh, it's going to hurt those that uh, you know for some of the stores that depend on the ache, on that anchor tenant of Winn Dixie to bring in the the the, uh, the walk by customer, but. Um, for some of them, some of these guys have had 20-year leases dating back to the 80s uh, that were at uh, about $10 a, a foot. And so this uh, will help them get uh, new, better price leases. So um, not, all, not all gloom and doom for, the, for these folks. All right, June construction activity up 0.1%. But don't get too excited. Uh, it was mainly spurred on by government construction. Actual private construction actually dropped dramatically. Uh, it's government construction, roads, sewers, all this stuff that's going on that you've seen. That's been the cause of an increase in, in construction activity, but not because of the private sector. Uh, economists are predicting an even worse second half uh, for construction. All right, well, we've all heard the BP oil spill. It's, it's the mess. Well, it looks like it's going to cost property owners along the Gulf of Mexico uh, about $3 billion. That's right. Uh, let me break it down for you here. Uh, they're looking at a losses of $648 million in 2010 and uh, $3 billion over five over the next five years. Now, there's about 600,000 properties plus uh, affected from Alabama to Florida. Um, now, Governor Chris, he signed an executive order um, for property prices to reassess property values so owners can substantiate their claims against BP. All right. Uh, in Pensacola, I think, uh, on the Gulf Coast of Florida, they're seeing pending sales have dropped 50% in the last two months. So even though they might not have seen oil, just the whole stigma that this is causing is, is, is hurting business. <coughs> All right. Uh, housing crisis still not over. That's right. No kidding, right? Uh, experts at Moody are saying that the hardest hit areas like Las Vegas, Miami, and Phoenix will suffer about another 10% decline in property values. So uh, that's rough. Uh, even recovery markets will take a hit like New York, Washington, D.C. Uh, some of these areas have seen a, a, an increase. Now they're looking to see another hit. Um, New York, Los Angeles, Detroit, Cleveland, and Tampa to see about 2 to 8% decline in their property values. Uh, and, and they're also saying that it could be a decade before the average price hits the peak of four years ago. And they're concerned that it might not keep up with inflation. So we'll see what happens. Uh, they're also stating that short sales continue to be on the rise. Uh, an example here, short sales in Sacramento climbed to 26% of all home sales in June. And they were at 17% the year before. So, yeah, uh, banks are uh, starting to let go. 
All right, what's going on here? Locally, Palm Beach Post is reporting that Vanilla Ice, remember? Uh, what was that one crazy song? He's, I think, a one-hit wonder. Anyway, if you're watching, uh, Mr. Vanilla Ice, no disrespect. Loved your song. I even bought the CD. Uh, he bought a foreclosed home in scandal-ridden Versailles. That's right, scandal-ridden. I'll tell you a little bit about that. He uh, recently rehabbed uh, Versailles foreclosure for the DIY network. That's the do-it-yourself network. Um, why is it scandal-ridden in Versailles? Well, there was a scam going on uh, with some buyers that bought the houses at around the 800 some odd thousand price and then were reselling them to straw buyers at 1.5 million and above. And then these guys were pocketing about $600,000 or more. Uh, now the houses are going for 440, I'm sorry, $450,000 or more. Some of these houses have never been lived in. So brand new houses and uh, so... But it looks like the uh, you know, report says that homeowners are still happy with the area. They're still nice and clean, so they haven't lost too much. Some of them are just taking it as it goes. All right, and we, if you haven't heard of David Stern, he is the foreclosure mill, one of the largest in the country. Well, he is allegedly being accused of filing thousands of documents that contained deceptive and intentionally ambiguous information. Uh, this is a class action lawsuit that is pending. And then Mears, um, if you've seen these guys are the mortgage electronic retrieval system, I think. They're the guys that uh, were con created uh, in 1995 from all the banks to, to document all paperwork to, to try to eliminate the paperwork. Well, they're also named in the uh, suit as uh, being accused of conspiring with Stern to uh, mask <coughs> all these um, intentionally ambiguous information. All right. And uh, from MiamiDolphins.com, hey. Coach Tony Sprano came in, the svelte guy. He lost 55 pounds. He looks great in that picture. Uh, he's happy. He's got a full squad at training camp. But uh, we did lose rookie linebacker Eds. Uh, he suffered a season-ending injury with a torn ACL. So, uh, well, we still got the rest of the guys. So, hopefully, uh, Godspeed on a quick recovery for our linebacker. And uh, so that's the news here. What's going on at the Florida Rio? Well, we've got quite a bit going on. On August 11th, we've got our Expect Success webinar with Steve Thornton. That's at 9 p.m. Eastern time, so our West Coast friends can catch it. Uh, <clears throat> and then uh, Let's Make a Deal workshop on Saturday, August 14th with Sharon. Definitely don't want to miss this workshop. She's going to teach you all the ins and outs on how to put a deal together in this market. All right, and then on August 19th at our monthly meeting, we have a real estate panel of experts. Ask your questions. We've got a loss mitigation guy. We've got a credit restoration guy. Uh, Sharon's going to be on the panel. Um, wouldn't be a good panel without her. And um, I think we have some foreclosure mitigation guys. So going to be an awesome meeting. And then uh, Sherry Watson is back uh, talking about the power of grant money on a uh, webinar. And that's on August 25th. Now, <coughs> she helped us launch Landmark community services and we just made uh, the cutoff to get into the Pepsi grant vote so on September 1st be ready to vote I'm gonna check out our landmark face and become a fan of our landmark uh, Facebook page alright so keep an eye on all that information and our ticker tape contest winner for last week was another other than Nancy Williams way to go Nancy uh, you're just building up that account for you alright so that's right keep a watch on this ticker tape down here and you too could be a winner all right, and follow us on Facebook.com, Twitter.com, and YouTube.com, all of them with a slash Florida Rio. And don't forget to uh, chime in on our blog this week at the FloridaRioBlog.com. All right, that's it for the news this week. Uh, thanks for tuning in, and we look forward to seeing you at one of our other uh, workshops here. This is Juan Restrepo signing off. Thanks, and God bless. <laughs>